Well, it's time to work on Maisie's house. Yeah, a couple days ago, it got blown over by some really strong winds uh, when we moved it into her yard. Ah! What a tractor! And at the time, we had no shelter for her. So for the time being, we moved her into the barn on the other side of the stall from Dolly. It was filled with hay, and so we had to move the hay around a little bit to get her in there. At least we were able to give her some shelter on some cold days, but tomorrow it's supposed to snow. So we want to get this fixed up and get it back down there, hopefully. Really late tonight, I'll probably get it done. It's going to take me all day. And I need to go pick up some more supplies, some more wood today. I need to take apart the roof and get Maisie a new house all fixed up. So I'm going to start dropping this and seeing what we can put back together here. Hey. like that the roof is up all piled up over here only a few pieces fully survived but they've got like hairline cracks in them and I'd rather just have it all be perfect again so we're just gonna redo the roof completely now that I've got the roof off I need to go get some more wood because I'm all out of two by four so I'm gonna run and grab that get this put back together tonight it is 5 33 p.m. and as you can tell it's getting dark the sun's going down I just got back I've got all the wood ready to build the rest of this. The reason I'm trying to do this at night is that we've got snow coming. We've got snow coming in about like 14 or 16 hours, something like that tomorrow morning. While this has been recorded, you guys won't be able to physically root me on in real time. I need you to root me on because I'm gonna stay up all night until this gets done. I've gotta get it done tonight. Can't have this sitting out here in the snow and have Maisie sitting in her temporary space without a shelter. So we're gonna get this knocked out tonight and I'm gonna show you updates throughout the so night. first thing I'm gonna do is fix the front of this. I've got the 12 foot boards that go across. Got ripped a little bit and so I'm gonna start working on that. Get the front fixed and then I can start to work on the roof again. I'm working on framing the front of this. We're gonna get a front wall. So it'll serve two purposes. It'll add some weight so it won't be able to pick it up from the front. So we're gonna add some of the clear greenhouse material to the top and then some of the sheeting to the bottom. Oof, that feels good. It's below freezing right now, it's 28 degrees outside. I'm burning up all the old roof that I don't need anymore, so I'm getting that out of the way, and I'm working on the new roof. A little after midnight, probably gonna take me about an hour, hour and a half to get the new roof supports all put together, and then I'll be ready to start putting some metal roofing on. All right, it is 2.36 a.m. and I'm finally able to put the metal roof on top. So it did snow a little bit about an hour ago, just for a little bit. So hopefully it, it doesn't come back until I get done. So, oh man, fingers are starting to freeze. My eyes are just getting so heavy. They're so tired. I just feel so weird. I gotta get this done. All I've got left to do, I'm gonna put some metal sheeting up in the eaves. I've got the last thing to do after that is to, to anchor this down out in the field. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna get much sleep tonight, but I'm excited to get it done. And I think we're almost there. Last thing, and then I can go to bed. I need to tie down this building so it doesn't fly away again. So I've got some hooks in the corner. And then this can screw down into the ground, and then this can hook onto that. All right, it's about 5.30. Snow's gonna start here in a few hours, but I am so psyched to get this done. So tomorrow I can wake up, I can do the chores, and then I can move this out for Maisie. We can get her in her own space. And she'll have shelter for the snow tomorrow. See you guys in the morning. Good night. Joey, Joey, Joey. What's going on, Joe? Ready? Ready? Go. Well, it is nasty out. And as you can imagine, I didn't get a lot of sleep. But look at the turkey fence. All this rain and ice. The fence is like completely down on the ground. It's all the way down. It's so heavy. Pretty pointless today. There's Slater. 
and our two other blue slate turkeys. They're at least still staying in their yard, but there's nothing really keeping them in here. They're fences. I mean, I can just walk right through it. Ducks mostly have ice down at the pond, but I think they're able to get a little bit of water. Let's go see how the emus are doing. Our pigeons staying warm and dry up here in the top. It is totally enclosed up here in the top portion, so they don't get any I'm sure rain, snow. Here's Jack and Jill. What's going on, Cashew? There's Peekaboo and there's Bamboo being smart, hanging outside the house. Hey, Bamboo. I can't even get in the emu area right now. It's so frozen over at their fence. Nice and warm in here. The button coil. So all the chores still have to get done. We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to move Maisie's house down to her area. Ooh, so we got some snow. Luckily, we got Maisie's house done. <laughs> oh. Ah. Character die. Ah. All right, so we're all ready to go. You ready, Becky? Yeah. Tractor sliding a little bit in the snow. I don't know how it'll do, but as long as I don't have to go uphill much, which I don't have to do a lot of out in the field, there's not much snow. So you just have to get back to the water. Yeah. It's the snow. Okay. So we moved the barn probably uh, a couple meters. And it's so full of snow, so we have to get the snow out of the front of it. We're gonna have to keep shoveling the snow from the out front of it to keep it going. Close your eyes, get out your skin. Let it in. If I could, I would be right here with you. This world of ticking clocks, I hope I'm getting through. So the tractor died and we couldn't get it started. And it was having such problems getting traction in the snow anyways. This does a lot better with traction and we're going to try the ATV now. up every, I don't know, 10 or 20 feet. We even have some clearance above the ground, but it just keeps piling up. And so we got shoveled out of the way when it blocks the... We just gotta clear out the snow and get it anchored in this time. We have Maisie's house all ready for her. Now we just need to get Maisie over there. How are you gonna do this? Uh, I'm gonna try to hook it first. So, Becky, how fun or how Maisie. hard was it to get me in the other night? It was so hard. You thought it was going to be really simple, real fast. It was starting to get dark, and yeah, it was hard. We got the uh, rope on her, but then she pulled away from us and crossed over the fences. Like, she didn't care about the electric fence, so she's going right through it. So we finally got her in the barn and was trying to drag her out. <laughs> she was just wanting to sit down on her butt and not move. So we had to eventually tie her up to the ATV and drag her. <laughs> Maisie 
see your house. Show us your house. So Becky, what do you think of this version of the house versus the last version? I like it. it it's going to protect her a lot more having the half wall from the wind and the snow. It's still really bright in here. So we've got her hay bin here. We've got our salt block here. We've got our mineral feeder over here in the corner. And I think that's the big game changer for this this time around is that this the weight I added to the front now makes it heavier than the back. So I don't see that it's gonna get picked up like it did before. But on the inside, besides the weight of the front, we also changed the way that this was sitting. We have four anchors at each corner. And so these go down about two feet into the ground and then it's bolted, chained up to each wall. One over by the mineral feeder and then one right at the front door. But I think the weight of the front plus that, I think that'll help keep it in place. Like your new house? Excited to put some other animals in this house at some point? <laughs> yeah, let's fill it up. Well, this is the end of the story of Maisie and her new house. You guys want to stick around? We're going to open up some mail inside the house. All the mail you guys sent us for Christmas. Let's go do that. You guys got some letters open? Yes! Go ahead. Yes. Got a Christmas card from Stephanie in Mississippi. Thank you so much, Stephanie. We got Madison from Maryland. Peekaboo pictures for us. Put in her new house. That's right. Arkansas snake guide, fish, backyard birds, waterfowl, cool. Oh, seeds. Some mm. seeds. Plum sunflower. How oh, cool. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Don. Oh, from Peter and Leilani in California. Thank you, Leilani and Peter. We appreciate it. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you, Susie, Joe, and Mateo from California. We appreciate that. That's a cool cow. Thanks, all of Ants, for the Christmas card in Iowa. Rory from the UK drew a picture of Blaze for us Ooh. and sent us some teas from the UK. Thanks, Rory. We got this egg gathering apron from Three Chicks Hatchery in Texas. Got a bunch of little pockets oh. to put your eggs in. Thank you so much, guys. Three Chicks Hatchery. We appreciate it. Carrie. Thank you for the golden Polish painting. That's beautiful. Looks just like ours. Where's she from? From Iowa. Thank you for the Christmas card from the Mosemans in Nebraska. Thank you for watching, Miles. Thanks, Cohen from Michigan for the picture of Peekaboo. Awesome. Haley, thank you for the Christmas card, the little Christmas carol in here from Texas. Thank you, Haley. Thanks, Jackson from Pennsylvania. He drew a bunch of pictures of our animals. Thank you, Keith from North Carolina. We got your card and you wanted to know what Eli's age was. How old are you, Eli? Seven. Are you guessing? <laughs> Thank you, Eli from New York. Got a really cool postcard from Femi in the Netherlands. Thank you so much for sending Thanks, it. Thanks, Abe from Iowa for sending your picture. Thanks, Olivia, the picture of Picky Boo. She's from San Diego. Thank you. Austin from Pennsylvania. Thank you for your letter. It's a picture of Peekaboo from Kiera in Iowa. Thank you so much for this picture. Thank you, Carla from Utah for your picture of a goose. Thanks, Jager and the Yaksa from Missouri for singing pictures of Peekaboo. <laughs> nice shirt. Thanks, Bigfoot Farmer, for sending the shirts. And thanks for everything you sent in the mail. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks, Bigfoot Farmer.